What it do, Scorpio? What's good? What's good with all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there? I hope everyone in my Scorpio collective out there is doing well. So we about to get into this reading, you guys, and see what it is that Spirit wants you to know. Now, you find that something resonate with you, you go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel. Also, comment, let your girl Blue Flame know what's going on. If you're interested in a personal, right now I am running a special on my readings right now. My love readings are $25, Career Money and Finance, 30 and Twin Flame, 35 okay? All the information, Scorpio, will be in the description box below. So let's get into it, y'all, and see what you need to know. So this reading is going to be about the Nine of Pentacles in Reverse, okay? So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo or someone who has Virgo placements in their chart. Now, we, not, we guys know that the Nine of Pentacles upright stands for financial security. For some of you, this means someone could have been an entrepreneur. Maybe they had their own business. They was enjoying the fruits of their labor. Like, everything in your life was bringing, right? But with this being in reverse, this talks about a loss of finances. So someone here who represented financial security, they don't represent that shit no more. This could be someone who's depending on other people because of this financial loss. They can be isolated. This could have been someone who, because they were financially stable and secure, they felt like, you know, money could buy them love. They could have been trying to buy friends and men and women, you know. Or someone was trying to, like, this success that they were feeling, like they were using this success to fill some type of void that was in their heart, you know, but it didn't fill that void for very long. Now, I ain't going to say money can't buy you. Money can't buy you happiness, but it damn sure can buy you some things. I will say, I will say that. But, you know, if you are, like, if there's a void in your life and you're trying to use, you know, money and things to fill a void, like, no, that's not going to work, okay? So let's see what the situation is with this Nine of Pentacles. Messages for my Scorpios. What's the situation with this Nine of Pentacles over here? What is the situation here? All right, the situation is the King of Cups. Hmm. All right, so this King of Cups, Scorpio, represents someone who is emotionally stable, someone who is intuitively guided to the right person. They're looking for a solid companion. They know what they want in a relationship, and they're very trustworthy, okay? So this could be this person trying to transition from this person who feels like, you know, money going to buy them happiness, you know, after taking this financial loss, like now they're trying to become more stable, more in tune with their feelings and emotions. But if you look at this person's heart, like they still look very cold hearted. They still got this stern, mean ass look on their face. Okay. So they could still be kind of detached here, but maybe they're trying to step into this energy. Tell us more about this King of Cups. Messages for my Scorpios. Tell us more about this king. Tell us more about the king of cups. All right, this upright. Ooh, okay. So, yes, this is what's going on. The situation is, okay, that someone here had to go through some type of downfall in their life. They had to basically fall flat on their ass, you know, financially, everything, okay, in order for them to start being more in tune with their feelings and emotions. But as you see, it's still ways, okay? And this person still just got their tiptoe. So it's like, this is what they're working on, becoming this king of cups, because this is what they want. They want wealth, you know what I'm saying? They, they want, I feel like this is someone who wants to have, like, a successful business with someone. You know, this is someone, like, if they're married, like, they want their husband or their spouse, like, they want to be partners in crime and everything, you know what I'm saying? In love and business, like, this is someone who wants that ten of pentacles. You know, they want to live comfortably with someone but they want to put in hard work like they want to work together like this is someone who wants to build something build a business something with someone this could be an inheritance like they want marriage they want to feel safe they want to feel comfortable and they want to feel stable because they don't feel none of that shit right now 
you know, so this is someone who I feel like is working more on themselves, becoming more emotionally stable so that they can figure out what it is exactly that they want in a partner. Like, what type of partner can they attract that's going to give them, you know, someone that they can build this firm, solid foundation with, someone that they can build a, a business with or have this business with her, you know, have this trustworthy love and know exactly what they want, be in tune with their feelings and emotions and express them. This is what this person had to go through. They had to suffer some type of downfall in order for them to step into this King of Cups energy so that they can have this Ten of Pentacles, okay? All right, now. So what happened in the recent past then? So let's see what happened with this person in the recent past that caused them possibly to get into this Nine of Pentacles energy. Some of you could be seeing 10-10. It talks about some type of cycle. It is closing for you guys. Okay, 9-9-9, 10-10. Nine, 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 ten, ten. Letting you know that some type of old cycle, some type of karmic debt has been paid and there's a new beginning that's on the way. So let's see what happened in the recent past. We got heavy Virgo energy. We also have, let's see, Cancer and Gemini. So what happened in the recent past, Holy Spirit? Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. So what happened in the recent past with this nine of Pentacles? What happened in the recent past? Wow, they didn't want to come out. All right, so we got the five of swords and the strength, okay? So someone is like their personal power, some type of strength. Something was stripped from someone, okay? With this five of swords energy in reverse, this talks about someone here was backstabbed, okay? Then they were slandered. They, they was talked bad about. This could have been like physical violence, humiliation, high level of gossip, fights, bullying. Like this is what they went through. In the recent past, some I mean, of you could be dealing with a Leo or an Aquarius or someone who has these placements in their chart. But see, why they were going through these things, I feel like this person didn't have the strength. They didn't have the courage to pull themselves up out of this energy, up out of this situation. See, when, when you don't have, when your power has been taken from you, when you're dealing with someone that's basically controlling your life because you're suffering from low self-esteem, it's like you kind of put your, your your life in the hands of the devil. You, you see what I'm saying? And this is what basically this person did. When they suffered this financial loss, when they went through this downfall in their life, like they just basically put the control of their life in the wrong hands. And they were trying to force some type of outcome. They were trying to force some shit to happen versus letting things unfold naturally here. So let's look at the current problem of this situation. Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. If anything is resonating for you guys, don't forget to hit that like button, all right? So let's see what the current problem is in this situation for Scorpio. Or for this nine of pentacles. What is the current problem? Did they want to flip? <sighs> Six of swords. Okay, so this talks about someone who is trying to leave a turbulent situation. They're trying to... Come, come to some karma waters, but see what this is as far as being in reverse. This means somebody keep trying to sabotage them, okay? See, this is what this person wants. This is what they're building on. They're trying to become this king of cups. They want this marriage. They want the sex. They want to feel safe and secure in a relationship, in a, in a marriage, in a home, in a family dynamic. But whoever they're dealing with here, they're trying to sabotage this shit. See, this person thought they had left the past behind them, but the past is still right there. This is someone that's refusing, like there's a third party here that's refusing to move forward here. Like this this person feels like, you know what I'm saying, they're really stuck and there's no way out. This person had a new phase in mind. That new phase has been sabotaged here, okay? All right, so let's see what the outside influences are. Messages for my Scorpios. You can be dealing with an Aquarius, heavy Aquarius energy. Heavy Aquarius and Virgo. So what are the outside influences to this situation? What are the outside influences? Three of Swords. There's heartbreak. This is what's keeping this person. Like, like this sabotage, this betrayal, like whatever it is that they went through with this person. Like there is still... Like they're dragging out this heartache and this pain or they're trying to heal. You know, or this is someone who they're still suffering here. Like they're still suffering from whatever this is that they went through. 
this heartache, this pain, this cheating, this backstabbing, whatever it was, they're still suffering. Like this is that bridge that's connecting. And until they come to this other side, like they're not going to get their ten of pentacles. You see what I'm saying? This is why this person has still got their tiptoe. They like they tiptoeing around, you know, becoming in tune with their emotions and feelings. Like this is what they want, but they still struggling here. So what are the hopes and fears then? Messages for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios. Give me just a second, Scorpio. All right, so what are the hopes and fears of this situation for Scorpio? So what are the hopes and fears, Holy Spirit? What are the hopes and fears? Ace of Pentacles. So this person hopes that there can be a new opportunity, a new beginning between you and them, okay? It talks about the beginning stages of something. This talks about some type of offer coming in, and with this offer comes with commitment and promises. With patience, it's going to be needed. You know, for some of you, if you've been waiting to hear from this person, it's still going to be a while. Because why? They're still in this three of swords energy. Like, this is the bridge. they still on this side. They need to come over here to this side here, okay? So what's going to be the outcome in this situation? You could be dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We got Libra as well. So what is going to be the outcome, Holy Spirit, of this situation for my Scorpios? What is going to be the outcome of this situation for my Scorpios? What is going to be the outcome? Oh, y'all see that card fly out? Ah, oh, three of wands. So what's going to be the outcome of this situation, Scorpio, is that you're still going to be in this waiting energy, okay? Waiting for something or someone to arrive. Because like I said, they're still in this energy of this three of swords here, okay? You could be seeing 333 three, three as well. You could be 33 years old, Scorpio. 36, 35. Tell us about the three of wands, Holy Spirit. This could be a long distance relationship. Maybe some of you guys, this has started off as like an own line connection or you live in different countries there can be a big body of water that separates you and this person we dealing with the aries as well tell us about the three of wands holy spirit clarify this three of wands for scorpio just landing on the ace of pentacles because mm. you're not able to have this new beginning this is what they want and this is the reality of the shit okay there's not going to be a new beginning here and you're going to be continuously waiting for this new beginning. And I feel like for some of you guys, because you've had to be continuously waiting to have this new beginning, you're no longer interested in this shit, no, or do you want this anymore? Like you, with this Ace of Pentacles, like you've waited a long time. For some of you guys, you've waited years. You've waited up to a year or more to have this new beginning with this person. And it's like you're still going to be waiting for some of you guys, okay? So let's go through the signs. Let's see who this reading is about. And I'll pull out the hoodie. And we'll see who this is about as well, okay? I love you, Scorpio. You ain't got to wait, baby. Don't be waiting. All right, so we got Leo, Aquarius, Capricorn, Gemini. Heavy Pisces, Cancer, Sag. Cancer, Capricorn, Virgo, and Leo. Okay, so let's get a description. Let's see. Let's get a quick description of your person, or this could be of you, Scorpio. Y'all, let me know. Who is this reading about, Holy Spirit? Who is Scorpio? I'm going to say basically wasting their time because it's like, you, it's like you're never going to have this new beginning. I'm not going to say never, but it's like this person's stuck. It's like they keep going through this same cycle. It's like they make up their mind. This is what they want. They know this is what they want. But until they heal, until they get over this heartache and pain that they dragging out, this heartache and pain from this backstabbing and betrayal and shit they gone through, like, they're never going to heal. And that's just the guy I fucking understood, you guys. All right. Who is, ooh, damn. All right. So this is about someone who has green eyes. We got muscular chest, 40 to 45. Who is this reading about? Light complexion. 
And let's see one more. Well, we got two more. All right, we got muscular and nice physique. This is definitely about somebody who's very muscular. And we have big lips. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, Scorpio, stay blessed.